Thanks for clicking. I hope your quarantine is going well so far. We wanted to do some quick testing on the trifail just to see where it fell off. We would like to point out that we are only testing the RF part of it. Uh, as a mag field, it measures on three axes and we actually very much appreciate it. It's a really good mag field meter. However, uh, we wanted to determine where it fell off on the RF spectrum. So after some quick tests, we found that and we hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to subscribe and let us know what your thoughts are and where you think we should what, and what else do you think we should measure? Rolling. Our uh, tri-field set to RF. Yeah. We're just showing you the tri-field at RF. So here's 2.4 gigahertz. It's showing 1 milliwatt, 0.9, so 1,000 microwatts per square meter. Okay. Here is... 3.4 gigahertz. Um, nothing. 4.4 gigahertz. Um, nothing. 5.4 gigahertz. Nothing. Um, 6.4. Nothing. So let's actually uh, step up from 2.4 gigahertz. At a higher power value? Or level? Um, and just step up and see where it rolls off. Oh, I see. So there's 2.4. 2.5 gigahertz. Yeah, it's still going. 2.6. Well, a lot more sensitive at 2.6. Interesting. 2.7. Popping off again. 2.8. And there we go. And if I go to 2.9, still a little bit there. Yeah. Here's 3 gigahertz. 3.1 gigahertz. We're done. So yeah, the tri-field does not measure anything over 3, well, really over 2.7, 2.8 gigahertz. It's a great mag field meter, but RF, no way.